Mic test. Mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all having a wonderful day today. Hope we're all prepped and prepared for some more Dark Souls 3 and potentially Duolingo action. Because we are back. It's been a few days since I streamed. Yes, it has. Uh, and that is because... Just checking. Okay, there we go. Uh, and that is because basically... Uh, you know, plans came up. So, when plans come up, you have to deal with them. Uh, so, I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Um, but yes, yeah, Sellsword Twin Blades, one of the best weapons. So, last stream I did, um, of this game, I beat, uh, Pontiff Sullivan out over there and also went further up to Anorlando. Uh, and beat Aldridge, the Devourer of Gods. Um, 
one of which was the Lord of Cinder, or one of the Lords of Cinder. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be venturing down uh, to the profaned capital to hopefully finish out um, Onion Knight quest and get another Lord of Cinder soul or ashes um, from Yorm the Giant. Uh, so hopefully that will go well. Now, I will say we are entering into one of the, um, I'll say, more infamous areas, if we're being real here. Um, okay. Uh, just because... Just because there are certain enemy uh, enemies that we're going to be fighting in this uh, upcoming area that are quite an annoyance is how I would describe them. Uh, when I when I get to them, I'll describe it more. But this area in general is just regarded as one of the more um, annoying ones. Certainly not a bad area, just one of the more annoying ones. Um, leading up to it uh, er, er, is some stuff that I completely forgot about. Um, okay. If I, uh, seeing that I'm not able to one-shot one these guys, I do want to put a little bit more into decks when I get the chance. But yeah, so everything down here is very, very dark. Uh, I can't remember if there's, like, a lantern item in this game. Uh, there are torches, which uh, I mentioned back at the Cathedral of the Deep, um, <clears throat> where when you get the maggots on you, you can whip out a torch, and the maggots will... Um, the maggots will fall off of you if you take it out. Uh, now, I don't have those. Invaded by dark spirits. Yeah, okay. So, you get invaded by an NPC, invader. Oop. There we go. Not too bad. Murakumo, nice. So, I believe this is... I think there are five or six uh, katanas in the game, and Murakumo is one of them. Um, oh no, this is just a slashing one. Okay, it just has a very katana-esque name. Um, I do have uh, my AC on in the background. If it is too loud or if it becomes distracting, I'm not sure how well the filter takes care of it. Um, Please do just tell me, and I will be glad to turn it off. In fact, I'll probably turn it off in a little bit, but I just want to be comfortable, at least during the start. Uh, the curved great sword of Alpha, Seeker of the Spurned, especially forged in Eastern Land. Sharp but heavy, this sword requires extreme strength and dexterity to wield. The search for the Spurned had no end, and so the Wayfaring Knight warmed to a most deformed weapon. Okay. Uh, and how much did I have? Uh, 20 strength, 18 dex. Yeah, so it's... It's like a big, beefy katana. And yeah, if I were playing online, you can bet that there would be um, messages and stuff, like right here saying, like, jump. <laughs> Do not jump. That is a death. <laughs> that is, without a doubt, a death. <laughs> it is not like the invisible pathway leading to, uh, like, half-dragon woman. <laughs> Yeah, so this is Irithyll Dungeon. Irithyll Dungeon sucks. <laughs> it's alright. It's just not my favorite area. Um, how much do I need? Okay, I'm at... Okay, so I need 27... Basically 28 to level now, so... That's fine. So... Let's move forward. So, this area... If I remember right... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's like one of the few jump scares, I would say, that isn't, like, um, enemy-based that happens, right? Where it's like, that guy didn't attack me. That wasn't, like, a, a jump scare. Like, that one was literally just a jump scare. Like, hey, we're gonna scare you. 
And that's all it was. Like, you picked up an item. Hey, if we, if we're gonna scream and scare you because we want to. Um, most other jump scares, I would say, in Dark Souls games, or FromSoft games in general, are more... Um, are a bit more active, right? Where it's like, oh, you're scared because an enemy was around the corner and it's attacking you. This is scary just because it is. Yeah. So this uh, this enemy right here, really, really annoying. Because basically, the way this enemy works is uh, the enemy will activate like an attack or something, or like a look. And it will decrease your maximum health over time, like very quickly. Um, and when I say maximum, I mean like the total bar. So like right now it's 1391 out of 1391. It'll, it'll make it so it'll be, it'll make the second 1391 smaller. <laughs> uh, now over time, after you kill the enemy and get out of its effect, um, it will go back up. But your HP will not go back up. Uh, so that means you have to heal afterwards to get it back up to where it was. But if, um, yeah, I forgot about that. But um, uh, if, uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. See, I completely forgot. I'm gonna be honest, I was actually expecting um, this to not have anyone in here. Um, actually, if I remember right, there's a door down here somewhere. Yeah, and this is where you know, if I had my, uh, if I had a torch, I could get the maggots off of me. Um, yeah, oh, that's fine. Because I know there's one area, and I'm pretty sure there's a... Um, there's a uh, illusory wall. But I just can't quite remember where that is. I think it's a bit further down this hallway or on the other side. Um, due to the dungeon being very uh, monotonous in appearance, it's quite difficult to uh, remember everything about it in terms of structure and other stuff. Yeah, so it's locked. There's a big item there. Um, yeah, so this one's annoying because there's that enemy right there that's just looking. So you gotta take them out quick. Yeah. Yeah, and it has, oops, <laughs> wow, okay, death. Okay, at 24, a bit faster than I was expecting. Yeah, so basically, they have a one-two punch in terms of what they can do to you. They decrease your total health, and then they have like a like a grab, essentially, where they push you to the ground and sear you. Um, usually, you're supposed to come at that area from the top, like instead of being pushed off the edge by that one zombie. Um... But, unfortunately, I was not successful in doing so. Uh, so, let me... There we go. Okay, sorry about that. So, uh, in my off time, uh, I moved on a little bit, went to Transit 1. Uh, and also, I got uh, Family 2 to this. Still working on Hobby. Haven't done Hobby in a bit, so I'm gonna try and legend uh, get one more thing Legendary up. Uh, Sampo, that is to take Sampo. a walk. Uh, yeah, and that's Kaki. That's Ito. Ito. Yeah, yeah. Sampo. Sampo. Walk. I do not go on walks. Uh, Sampo o shimasen. Uh, Sampo. Sampo. Uh, Sampo. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I drop picture. I like going on walks. Sampo ga ski this. 
Sampo. This. Oh, this is what? Uta. Naku. No, rock. Naku. Naku. Satsu. Satsu. It's been a bit. Sampo Shimat. Uh, I take. I will draw a picture. Uh, eh, oh, kaki, mas, mizu, and ni mai, ni mai. There we go. Okuai, This is eh, eh, yeah, it's eh. Yeah. Eh wa kaki masen. Eh wa kaki masen. I will not draw pictures. But yeah, I have a feeling that the uh, Irithel dungeons will make up for the lack of deaths that I had in Irithel and in Orlando. <laughs> um, at, at least the uh, I go and walk. Some, uh, Sampo. Sampo. Shima. Yeah, there we go. Uh, at, at least in terms of the uh, bosses, as a key. Saku. Here, Saku key. Uh, goes with Kino uh, for yesterday. Uh, Kaki. Kaki. Yeah, but this one's to write instead of to draw. Uh, Narai. Narai. That's to learn. Yeah. Narai. Yeah. 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 Ki. Yeah. Ki. Yeah. No e o kakimasu ka? What will you draw? What will you draw? What picture will you draw? I do not draw pictures. E o kakimasen. E. Or e wa kakimasen. Kaki. Mate. There we go. Uh, I do not go on. What picture will you draw? Uh, non. Uh, no. No. E. O. Kaki. Mas. Ka. Non. No. E. O. Kaki. Mas. Ka. I a uh, yomi Sampo ga suki desu. I like go relax. <laughs> I like to go on relax. Yeah, it's one of those nice things where it's like, okay, as long as you're only like a letter or two off, um Duolingo will just say hey, you got it, which is nice. Um <laughs> Because I uh, I type fast, so one of the unfortunate parts now is uh, is now I'm not embered, so I actually have less health for the guys to drain. Um, uh, which it kind of sucks. Because the, one of the nice parts about being Embered was that I did have a bit more leeway in terms of hits I could take. But, you know, oh well. I'm taking all these guys out because I don't... When you see, when you see enemies like this where... Um, there we go. You see enemies like that, where they're just kind of sitting there. I never trust them, because it's like, you know what? Why <laughs> Why are those guys there? They're there, usually, to overwhelm you with weak nothing enemies while you're in the middle of fighting something else. So I just like to take them out um, from the get-go. And see, those guys had affected me, and I didn't even realize it. Because as you can see, like I, I have damage taken off right now. I didn't even realize that I had taken that, that I was in the range of whatever they were doing. Oh god, Jesus. Scared the ever living crab at me. Yeah, so I need to get a key for that and I'll unlock a small shortcut. Or not a small shortcut, but it's actually rather important. Um Yeah. So now this time I'm able to take it a bit differently. Because No. Yeah, because now you can get it from the top, which is much different. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal because I don't want to. Yeah, 
And these guys, they seem to resist slashing damage quite a bit. And they're also annoying. Yeah. Cl close range enemies, or close range weapons, not great for fighting those guys. But, oh well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Really want to do this, dude. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I have to find some key and then I will come back and be able to open that. But I believe the key is on the other side somewhere. But yeah, FromSoft really does like their, um, their dungeons. <laughs> Because I look at this and all I can think of is uh, is Demon Souls, where there was a very similarly shaped like dungeon esque area, where it was like a big U. You had to go like up and down, a whole bunch of like levels. Um, it, it was an interesting area, but certainly not my favorite in Demon Souls. Yeah. So this one's annoying because basically you have to, like, you have to enter the, it does not open from that side, which means that I believe you have to go up a bit further and tromp, or over there leads you over and around. Um, okay, you know what I want to do? I don't want to take very many risks here, so you know what I'm going to I'm gonna... Okay, that was not at all what I was expecting. I was hoping they would aggro. Get over here. Okay, I'm gonna remove you. The thing is, I don't Get out of there. Okay. I just gotta go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, God. Are you freaking serious? Nope, nope. No, see, as you can see, your health bar gets very, very low. Yeah, as you can see, the total health is going up. Like, it's not just the amount of health I currently have. It's the health bar itself. Yeah, and these are the kinds of guys that I'm like, that's why I kill them when they're in these areas. And had she not been there being an absolute annoyance, I would have. So that's one of those ones where it's like, you just gotta try and take them out as fast as possible. But, of course, once again, the obvious structure of the thing is, hey, we want, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the obvious structure is we want you to run right for her. Hey, dude, will you, like, shut up? You are... Oh yeah, there's a thing down there. I forgot about that. Yeah, there's an enemy down there in one of the in one of the cells. God, you're a flippin' freak. Yeah, no. I don't remember if they aggro at all ever, but they're creepy. <laughs> and as such, I don't want to deal with them. But yeah, going through this area is just so dangerous. Uh, but yeah, you definitely want to open up this door that way. <laughs> if and when you die, you're not losing all your progress and have to run all the way around again. Because this, this area is just rough from, from just a, an idea of, like, there's no real open areas to run around things. <laughs> like, you need to kill them. Or you need to be very good at your movement. 
Um, okay, but I got the Jailbreaker's Key, which I think opens up a lot of the doors that were there. So yeah, this is an area with two of these bastards. Three. Okay. There's a lot more health than I was expecting for ha for having three of them. Uh, I'm going to pull back a bit. Let my health go back up. It's mean because it does like a weird stutter step in it regening too. It's not just like, oh yeah, it's out of the effect all at once. It's, no, we have... Yeah, so this one was aggro and doesn't like you. It might not be aggro if you don't kill the other one, but I'm not sure. Just checking. I want to be careful. But yeah, like three of these types of enemies in one area, not great. Damn it. You guys are actually like, you're not a bad enemy. But in, for me, they're very bad. <laughs> uh, not because they're tough, but my weapon type is not conducive to being able to fight them quickly. They're a bit too close range. But yeah, I got the Jailbreaker's key. I'm not sure what doors... Yeah, so this is one of the ones that uh, opens from the other side. Um, and this is obviously uh, one of the trap lizards because you are there. Yeah. So this thing's there. It's annoying. This one's also there. I don't know if I really want to open it because that's the thing, right? You open it and it's now free. It's now present. <laughs> Um, but I could. Now, one important thing to note is that's the way I need to go over there. Because there are some enemies, and then I think it goes down to uh, the next bonfire. But I still want to explore the rest of over here. Um... Now, let's open this. Just take you out. Yeah, these guys are weird. They're, like, in the walls. Don't know. Don't know why. And I don't know why that one was even a thing, other than just... Like, honestly, I think it's just there to be loud. And to distract you. Make it harder for you to know where to go, what to do. Um, okay. Now I have Jailbreaker's Key... Which could open some of the things on the other side. So that's good. <sighs> but yeah, the, this area is just one of the more annoying ones. Because you're just like, oh god, yay, I get to walk through a dungeon. Said no one ever. Yeah, use Jailbreaker's key. And the thing is, you all, like, this is to make this run out to here in case you die a bit faster. Um, which is good, and why one of the main reasons why I wanted to come over here. Um, the second uh, is wasn't there? Wasn't there one of the? Yeah, I think. Is that my feet? Yeah, gross. Uh, yeah, over here. Oh, wait. wait. Okay, it's locked, but not with the Jailbreaker's key. Interesting. Uh, okay, I could have sworn it was. Oh, well. Okay. And... So I think... I think... I'm at the point where... I can now drop down here again. Okay, come on. There we go. 
sip up. Take you out, uh, because I believe there are some other doors or stuff down here that I couldn't open. Right? I feel like there was. You? It's locked. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You. Okay, so both of these are... Okay, well, I guess the... I guess the jailbreaker key is only good for that one door. Oh well. Not the biggest, uh, not the biggest deal. But I am now gonna go back out to. Right, where I was? I think it was over there. Yeah, they put the, they put those bars there. That way you couldn't just like drop and skip everything. There we go. Because they know you would. <laughs> Be every be every speedrunner's dream. Okay, there we go. Heal through that. So I only got four flasks, which is kind of annoying, but it's not the it's not the worst thing. But we're going down there eventually. Um, oh yeah, and uh, I don't want to get that just. Uh, see, I could, but I'm not sure if I want to get it just yet. Um because these enemies are down here. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, I want to... Oh. There we go. So I know there are a few more... I think it's just that. There we go. Okay, so it was just three. One hiding very, very professionally behind that one pillar, and then the rest. Yeah. So there is a um, bonfire, I think, right above where my head is down there. Somewhere over there. Um, but. That's not what we're going to right now. I think this is another bonfire. This is a mimic. Um, as you can see the... Um, okay, so no. No bonfire yet. That's why there's that shortcut. Um, yeah. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that yet. I want to get that item first. Uh, powering out. But I'm also not uh, homeward boning because I don't want everything that I killed to res <laughs> because I'm a coward. I don't want to have to risk dying some more. Now, if I homer boned and went back to the uh, went back to the bonfire, then I would also get all my Estus back, but oh well. Honestly, frankly, that would probably be the smarter thing to do. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not planning on doing it. Okay. There we go. Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. What is that? You greatly boost sorceries. Don't need it. A special ring given to those who are deemed fit to undertake the journey of discovery in Vinheim, home of sorcery. Apropos to the Dragon School, the seal depicts an everlasting dragon. A bellowing dragon symbolizes the true nature of the consummate sorcerer. Yeah. So basically, you can come over here, get the drop on the guys, uh, and see that there's actually a thing down there. But I don't believe that's a drop you can actually make. Uh, but it's good to have nonetheless. Yeah, I think... I can't quite remember. I think it's thundering outside. So if the if the weather cuts out, then apologies. I think you can do a fun thing with uh, these guys if you uh, lead them back down here. So you can just get them to. Damn it. Ah, come on. I want them to attack the, uh...
I want them to be the ones to attack the uh, mimic. Okay. You serious? Like I can see it breathing. Okay. Yeah. You're now just costing me. Costing me heals. Um, probably not the smartest idea for me to go for a mimic kill right now, but whatever. Estus Shard, great. Okay, that's actually fantastic. Damn it. Could we, uh, do this. There we go. Interestingly enough, I'm surprised that I'm able to just, like, I'm surprised I'm able to just kind of like roll into them. Yeah, so this, I think that's where I have to go, or no, I think it's out here. I think I can jump up there. Yeah, because there's like a fall, there's like two falls, and then there's this. Like you can get out one of these windows. There we go. Because, like, the, I think the base where you're supposed to go is, like, out here. And there's a giant over there. Um, but I am trying to think of all the ways. Or, yeah, this is the base way yeah, you're meant to go. Yeah. There. I need to get a cross out over there, I think. Okay. So, let's go back up. Now, luckily, these enemies, right, the, um... Like, those guys that I just killed, they're not difficult. They're not hard. They're just a bit. And they're in, like, a... They're all in, like, one alleyway. I think this is where I have to go. Or is it out this other one? Kind of sworn. It's out one of these. Maybe it's not out either of them, and it's just falling down this one. Okay, yeah, I think it's just falling down. Yeah, so I need to. This way. And if I remember right, there's one of the pathways. Okay. Oh, are you fucking serious? I died to rats. Oh, that hurts. Uh, I should have checked my health a little bit more. Uh, I, was trying, I was trying to play cautious, but... Eh, it bodied me anyway. Um, okay. So let's rest. Got more to do. So already, more, more deaths than previous stream where I did two bosses. Um, fun, fun, fun. Transit. Shikai. Shikai. No idea where... Uh Sky. 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 Uh this is Sakai. That's a Sky. Kiyi. Osoi. Toi. Sky. Oh wait, no, that is she. Because I always get mixed up because I want uh I want Chi because Chi and Sai, at least the way Duolingo writes them, are just the same thing flipped, 
but the one that makes the C sound or the CH sound, the chi sound, um, is C backwards instead of being C forwards. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, darn it. If it was the other way, it would be so easy to remember. Um, uh, uh, hikoki. This is airplane. Hikoki. Hikoki. Um, God. See, we're now getting into the t area where it's like one of the main definer things. It's like, oh yeah, look at this one. It's th this under loop. <laughs> and it's like, oh, nope, the, the under loop and line are on a whole bunch of them, bud. And also, I don't think I've seen any of these. Because um, hi I, I think that's fast. Uh, sa, uh, chikai, yeah, don't know what that is. Toy, and that is osoi, so... おそい。おそい。おそい。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。遠い。
That train is slow, isn't it? Taxi wa hayai desu ka? Uh, taxi uh, is are, are taxis fast? Are taxis fast? He has a card that says works on contingency. No money down. Edebi <laughs> kuruma. Two lot could be a couple things right. Is fuck. My brain immediately went to derecha, but that's right in Spanish. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not. Uh, what is it? It's. Migi Hidari. One of those. Migi and Hidari are left and right, but I forget which one's which. <laughs> he goes, oh, that's an error. Works on contingency? No. Money down. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Okay, our taxi is fast. Taxi wa hayai desu ka? Shikai desu ka? Shikai desu ka? Shikai desu ka? Okay, is it near? Okay. Okay. Chikai. Chikai. Chikai is near. They didn't tell me that at any point prior to this, even though it was the first couple of words. Okay, so Hayai is fast. If I remember right, you were Hayai. Hi. Yeah, buddy. Toy. Uh, toy is this one far away. Toy. Tsukai. I'm going to presume you're the one that I've never seen before. Sky. Sky. Ch Sky, uh, Osoi is in Shikai, so Shikai, Shikai. is it close, and Osoi, Osoi. slow. Osoi desu ka? Is it slow? Yes. <laughs> Japanese, Nihonjin, or uh, bird is Tori. Oi, oi, um... So this Chikai, that's Hayai. Yeah, toy. Yeah, toy. Koko kara toy desu ka? So is it far from here? So is it far from here? Because Koko, Koko is here. Kara from. Uh, toy. Toy. Far. And then desu ka. So here from far is it? Excited for this week's Pokemon challenge. Fire red only dunce sparse. Damn, son. <laughs> oh, I feel like that would be tough. Like, pretty darn tough. Like, what what moves does dunce sparse learn that makes him viable? Tasty left station. Dog. So, Ina, o, uh, Inu, Oishi. I think Migi is right and Hidari is left. So, this would be Hidari. And station is fucking something. Is it fast? It is far from home. It is far from my house. It's far from my house. It is far from home. Pretty good movie, I gotta say. Uh, this place is near my home. Coco. Coco. Let's put here. Coco, uh... Okay. Coco Kara. So. Kara. Yeah. So this, this, okay. So, this place is near my home. So, so quite, like th this is one of my uh, not much best move by level up is takedown. Okay, wonderful. So I already know a couple of these aren't going to be used. I'm not going to be using that one. This is Inu, not going to use that. Tori, not going to use that. Nihon, not going to use that. So I know what the ones I'm using, but the, now it's a matter of grammar, right? Because I don't know if it's Koko Kado wa Ie... Chikai. Uh, Ie Chikai des. I think so. Koko Kara wa Ie Chikai des. I think, although it could be Koko Kara. See, the thing is, I don't know if Ie is supposed to go before wa or after. 
Coco, okay, so Coco Wa, so this is another one where it's Coco Wa, because this, right, is the subject. Well, Ie Kara Chikai des. Okay, so I didn't know that you but okay. Okay, so here is home from close is. Okay. Is it near? Uh, Chikai desu ka? This is Honda, Tanaka. or Tanaka, darn it. Uh, Kuni? Kuni. Yeah. This place is near my home. Okay, so Coco. Coco. Uh, yeah. Nope. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Kara. Kara. Shikai. Shikai. Yes. This. There we go, buddy. There, there we go. I'm going to be so good at Japanese when I'm done with this thing. It's going to be wonderful. Okay. So, I want to get back to where I died. Get those souls. We shouldn't be too bad. Um, but it will be... Damn it. Okay. You did not get me. You did not. You actually did not get me. You bastard. Okay, well, I already took two of my sips. Um, I could have gone back to Firelink and um, got a got another sip, but I decided against it. Okay. Uh, my favorite YouTube gamer, the Midwestern Bison. <laughs> I mean, where else are you going to see bisons other than in zoos? Okay. There we go. God darn it, you bastard. Yeah, luckily these guys are nothing, right? So it's not gonna be much for me to get back here. Mimic's gone now. Um, okay. I can just come in here and drop down. And now I'm gonna take a sip of poo. Drop down over here again. Okay. Now I'm, now I'm back. Baby. Nope. You wanna? There we go. So I believe... I believe you can make... So, yes, yeah, so that's another place. So you could get down to here and, without dropping from that hole. Um, but I don't feel like it. Because I believe this way actually leads me to another bonfire. Go. And it's funny because we're actually getting up to one of the most um, uh, noteworthy areas in terms of fun stuff that's about to go down. Oh, yeah. I know those clicking sounds. Those clicking sounds are bassless clicking sounds. But yeah, so this, right, they put two chests at the end of the hall for you. And this is one of the easiest ways to be able to identify, um, like, to clearly be able to be, like, compare, like, what's the difference between a mimic and a regular chest? Because this one's a regular chest, and it's one of the clearest things where it's like, okay, yeah, now you can see the difference between the chain curling up around itself and this one where it's splayed out more forward. Um, and also you can kind of see there being some movement. So that's another telltale sign. Old cell key. So I think that'll probably be the uh, last ones. Uh, okay, no, I'm just gonna... Nope, nope. Yeah, so you have to be careful with basilisks, because these bastards are some of the worst enemies. Because, uh, regardless of what game they're in, 
if whatever status they do, it's always an insta kill status. I believe it's usually called petrify. Um, I think it's petrify in this game, where it just fills up, you die. That's that's how it works. Um, yeah, and then the neat thing is, like, you can just wait here. Uh, and it will eventually yawn, and you can just yank whatever you want out of it. Um, but I kind of want souls. Okay. That's actually never a move. Uh, that's a move I've never seen a mimic use. Dark clutch ring. Cool. Uh, what do you do? Dark clutch ring. Increases dark attacks, but compromises damage absorption. Okay. Uh, picks a hand grasping a purple stone, because dark deck compromises damage absorption. Old Fable and Lone Door claims that the lure of the clutch ring reaches out to the crestfallen who might otherwise be overcome by despair. And of course it's Lone Door, because they love the dark. But yeah, so that's, uh, that one's just like a mean chest, where it's like, oh yeah, no, these basilisks, basilisks only aggro when you, um, <laughs> uh, when you... Uh, when you uh, open the chest. <laughs> so if you know what's going to happen, then you could just take care of the mimic first and not worry about it. But yeah. Yeah, a dung pile. So yeah. So you come down here. Uh, this actually might not lead to other on high. Might be quite remember. If it is, I don't exactly remember. Train of enemies sucks. Um, okay. Ah, yes, okay. So here is an important thing. So, dragon torso stone. So, the dragon stones are honestly pretty interesting because you can use them and it'll just turn your body into a part of a dragon and if you use the item again it will that give you a special like spell but it makes your body just like look super decrepit and dragon like so imbued with the power of the everlasting uh, dragons used in a secret rite by our dragon worshippers gain the torso of a dragon and a dragon's roar transformation that's irreversible until death from ancient times the path of dragon worship was walked by warriors it is said that they envision arc dragon peak in the depths of their meditation and at times they even hear the distant sound of the great bell at the peak yes so basically um, if the sub goal is met when I get the, uh, necessary, um, necessary, like, emote, I'll come back here and essentially sit next to this dragon dude doing the emote, and, um, that will take me to Arch Dragon Peak for me to do the nameless, uh, king stuff. I'm taking this elevator because it's a very, very important shortcut that's this and also anyone who doesn't realize it opens up the door down here that was locked prior so it makes a nice bit of a loop because over there is where I would go down into the dungeon um, but okay, where which side the thing on yeah lightning blade cool um inventory lightning blade reinforce right weapon with lightning miracle allegedly wielded by a certain dragon slayer knight in the age of gods reinforces right weapon with lightning tales of dragon slayers are now a rare thing told only in fragments and whispers in remote regions and i got magic sealed only sorcerer swordsmen with special duties are permitted to even use it yeah okay so we're doing pretty good right now. Um, yeah, I don't like this area in particular because there's just so many of these broads that it's an absolute nightmare. Um, but I do basically need to do it. Um, the question is, I can't 
Because I believe that this is actually the way to the profane capital. Um, like, going through here. But I can't quite remember. And I don't... One of the things is I also don't remember if there is actually a bonfire in this area. Like, other than the start of the dungeon. Because I thought there was, but there actually might not be. Um, yeah, so... My biggest worry is right now. I'm curious. Uh, I am curious. Curious and curious, sir. Um, got. I should, maybe I should buy some more arrows. Okay, so. So I am not able to one shot mice. Unfortunately. Oh, well. Um, I can just keep my... Actually, can I? No, I cannot. So, the bow weighs four, while my solid weapon daggers weigh 2.5. Man, who, who, who'd have thought? Okay. And... See, I can go up there and around, but I don't really want to. Because that is dangerous. Because if you're fighting a giant, you kind of want to be around their feet. Um, but I myself... Oh my god. I didn't think I was going to take that much fall damage. I will be absolutely honest. Oh, oh, darn it. I really thought I was going to take, like, minimal to none. Um, here's another uh, mimic. So let's just take care of this. Oh, wait. Oop. You was not dual wielding. Yeah, in terms of like, in terms of density of mimics, the dungeon has a lot. Um, they definitely decided, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna make your life miserable and make you doubt every chest. If I remember correctly, in Dark Souls 2, they were actually really, really annoying and made it, or at least at launch, or I'm not sure if they ever patched it, they made it so, um, uh, if you attacked a chest, like a, re uh, like a, a regular chest, you would, um, uh, you would basically, um, how do I say it? You would, um, you would just essentially destroy the contents of the chest. Like, it would turn into, like, a useless item. Um, because the, like, when they're developing, they're like, oh, yeah, one of the things that uh, people always did in DS1 is, like, they always swung at chests. Um, they always swung at chests before ever knowing what was, like, if it was a mimic or not. Like, they just didn't learn the tells of a mimic and couldn't check or didn't have the patience to wait. So what we'll do is we'll punish people by making so if you take a swing at a non-mimic chest, you will destroy the item inside. And no one liked that, so they changed it back. God darn it. Shit. Fuck! <laughs> damn it! Ugh! Damn it. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to do I'm going to go to Firelink Shrine. And I'm going to get my ass this upgrade before I do my before I do my my lesson. <clears throat> Ugh, I'm sitting on like 30, sitting on a level. What they have. Uh, I, should, I should get better about putting on a um I should get b better about putting on a, um... Actually, do I have... Uh, I need chunks. Okay. Get better about putting on my sacrifice ring when I'm <laughs> when I'm in that state. That way, if I do die, at least I come back and... Um, I can just go and level afterwards. But we are doing... Go and go again. Out with uh, other stuff. So let's do let's do family because I've done one of the others. John Maria are relatives. John to Maria wa is it 
Shinseki. Yes. Shinseki. Yeah, relatives. Yeah. So John, To, Maria, Shinseki. This. Shinseki. Yeah, it's all that jazz. Relatives. <laughs> Opinion question: blank or blank? Uh, that. Which one should I get a re? Oh, a revamp? Uh... I'm just gonna say I like the the first emote, the the Baco one. I think it has a lot more utility, so maybe getting a revamp of that would be cool. Uh, what are you? You're Oku. Oku. Yeah. Mine. Uh, wait, wait, what? Mura. Hmm. Uh, Australia. Yeah, John Tomaria wa shinseki. Musume wa kyusai desu. Musume wa kyusai desu. My daughter is nine years old. My daughter is nine years old. あなたと彼女は親戚ですか？彼女は親戚ですか？You and her are relatives? Question mark. あなたと彼女は親戚ですか？Yeah, are you and her relatives? Dare, Dare, Goshijin, husband, Okairi, Nase, Okairi Nasai, or oh shit, I can't. Is that welcome back or come back later? I can't remember. Because you say Okairi when they're home, right? Yeah, because it's Tadaima, right? It's uh, Tadaima, Okairi. Yeah, okay. And then it's, uh, uh, it's, it's Oka Okasan. Okasan. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know, Bison. <laughs> Bison has discovered my secrets. <laughs> Man, my emotes are not useful. What are you talking about? There's no necessary need for an emote, right? It's just like, oh, you have an idea and you want people to be able to do it. Like, right? Like, I'm not sure how, how many. How many uses a dab has, but you know, I sure as hell want it. General hype, maybe. My daughter is nine years old. The musume wa kusai des. Musume wa kusai des. This is Mago Musuko. Mago Musuko. Yeah, that's grandson. Go nin. Go nin. Go nin. Five people. Nice thing. I don't think this is useful in any conversation. I mean, honestly? Yeah. Musuko no namae wa Shigeru desu. Musuko no namae wa Shigeru desu. Musuko no namae wa Shigeru desu. My son's name is Shigeru. Musuko wa san sai desu. My son is three years old. My son is three. Yeah. No. I can't remember how, like, the last time I, re like, specifically said blank years old, because it's pu purely contextual. You just say three, <laughs> four, five, seventeen, nineteen, fifty-eight. Yeah. How old is your son? Uh. 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 Let's go. Uh. uh nan sai desu ka? Okay, there we go. Musuko. Sanan sai desu ka? There we go. <laughs> Six thousand weeks. Six thousand weeks. There's fifty-two weeks in a year. Fifty. Fuck, I'm bad at that. So six divided by fifty. Drive drop each one. One zero. So five. Five into six hundred. One. 120, 115, you know, yeah, around there, yeah. <laughs> uh, Konojo wa watashi no musume desu. Although, you could say she is my son. Musuko! Here we go. Musuko. Shinseki! Relative. Shinseki. Sensei! Sensei. He? He. She is not my relative. She is not my relative. Steki Boasua. Sister is. Ane or Imoto. A thousand, I think, is. Sen, I think. Yak. So it goes each to Yak. 
線マンねね息子息子娘娘コーザン or oh wait ねんせねんせねんせ is like grade what grade someone's in コーザン I forget what does コーザン look like コーザン is a m Uh, daughter's name is Sakura.、Uh, there you go. My son's name is Shigeru. So. Uh, Musko. No. no. Yeah. Oh, relatives. Dr. Lair boys, no, finish work. Okay. Dr. Lair Fontana, I'll, I'll, I'll still be here, hopefully. Maybe, maybe I'll be a few more lessons deep. <laughs> Are you and she relatives? Uh, uh, Anata. Oh, no, no. My son is three years old. Musco sunside this. My daughter is eight years old. Musume wa hot side this. Musume wa hot side this. Back. To this. Back to Irithel Dungeon. Um, trying to think of the faster, better way to try and get back. Well, because if I took. Didn't I open this one? No, that wasn't the one I opened.、Um, because I opened the one at the bottom of. Actually, I picked up another key, didn't I? Key to the oldest cell in all of here at the dungeon, so. No? Picked up. Yeah, the other one doesn't open from this side. I'm just gonna run. Yeah. Luckily, it only takes two R1s to kill him. Um, okay. So. Ah,、oh, see, the annoying part is my souls are probably. And my souls are probably still up at, like, the top of it. I have 12 flasks. There we go.、Okay, 12 flasks. Um, oh, god damn it. So, where did I go before when I. Right, because I. Yeah, so what happened was I dropped down just barely. Yeah, so then I. Down again. There we go. Take another sip. Then I go back up. But then, instead of.、Uh, then, instead of、um, jumping and risking the,、uh, the giant doing literally what he just did to me, I'm gonna kill him. First, because I think he's a one and done. 
kill. Like I said, I don't have to take the fall damage again. I can do this. And also, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this off for a tad. Pop the Ring of Sacrifice on. This also leads to, yeah, I think this leads to the other one. I think this leads to the one that I wanted to open, which hurts that I didn't get it before. Uh, yeah, so this one leads right back to here. Yeah, so this is this is the much better one to get <laughs> if we're being absolutely honest. Um, in fact, if I were smart, I would have just sat and went and leveled, but I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it, baby. Send those up. Profaned flame. go. So basically the mice respawn pretty frequently. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if they continuously respawn or if it's they respawn a few times and then eventually they stop. Hoping it's the latter. Because unless there's a window over there. I need to go deal with that. Okay. You know, I don't think they will. Helping, bud. Yeah. Did I get you? Yes, I did. Five thousand. We'll take that. Okay, good. Large Titanite Shard, Titanite Chunk, baby! Now I can go level up my weapon again. But yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, on your night. Pardon me. Oh, but I've just been this moment. I just. Yeah. Mm. Yes. With the key. Yeah. So I got the key, but now I need to get around to him, which means I need to go to the profane capital, um, because that's where that's set up. But now, because I've taken out the giant, I don't have to worry about uh, effing up the jump anymore. And I have a ring of sacrifice on it, so even if the jump were to kill me, which it shouldn't, uh, I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, so I think the I think the rats have like a set number where it's like, oh yeah, twenty, and then once you've killed twenty, they're they're good. But yeah, this is annoying because it is. One of the few platforming things that you have to do. Um, yeah, I don't know, right? Because it's like, there's obviously a path right from there 
to down over there, down there. I don't know if you're meant to like be able to make this jump and walk over there, or if it's meant to be more of a um, like maybe it's indication that there's an illusory wall over there, potentially. But yeah, so that's what those windows are for. Also, it might be that this just drops out over there, and I didn't realize or think about it. But, okay. So, now I think at this point, the only place I have to go, right, is the, um, yeah, that, the only place I have to go is down over there into... Uh, not fun town with all the hags and stuff. Um, now I still have a whole bunch. I'm not getting Max a most efficient. Uh, not getting the most efficient uh, use of my. Uh, okay, 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 bud. Okay. Most efficient use of my kills because I had to take off the uh, ring to have my sacrifice ring on. Kind of sucks, but oh well. Coming down over here. Yeah, you're here. Right. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna come back over here. Slightly more open area. A bit easier to fight. I remember when I played this my first time, because I was a casting build, the pick rats were actually really annoying for me. Like, they represented a serious challenge for me. Because if you don't have enough space in these areas, then you're gonna have a tough time. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, taking you guys out. Go. Don't wanna leave any of you bastards. Profane coal. Okay. So we got profaned flame and profaned coal. So let's take a look at those. Profaned coal. Um, coal used for weapon infusion. Remnants of the fire that burned down the profane capital. Preserved in an icy skull. Here to the blacksmith to allow the use for dark blood and hollow infusion. Pretty cool. Profaned flame. Pyromancy deriving from the profane flame engulfs foes at range and burns them to ashes. Profane capital was consumed by fire after Yorm the Giant became a Lord of Cinder. The fire born of the sky is said to have incinerated naught but human flesh. How wonderful. A fire that only burns people. I'm sure I'm sure the uh, Spanish Inquisition could have had many uses for that. Okay, I'm opening that. Because I want to have um, a bit more ways to go, right? Where it's like if you only if you have to run through everywhere, then kind of sucks. Okay, so there's another mimic, but I don't feel like dealing with you right now. The annoying part is there's so many of these guys. But you know what? I don't feel like dealing with you right now, but I'm going to. Once again, like... Just so many mimics here! Titanite scale, okay. Like, there's so many mimics! I do not know why. I don't know if that means they, like, have seen me and are, like, trying to do stuff to me. 
Like, it must, right? Like, it has to be, like, aggro. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Nope. Come on. Nope. Uh, get out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh, god damn it. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna run past for right now. I don't feel like dealing with them. Right. Don't feel like dealing with them right now. little slurp. Okay. Yeah, you're a cool guy. Here, got a large soul. And then capital, walk on the bridge a little bit. And then he, uh, he's a thing. Yeah. So, I'm not sure how well I'm gonna fight this guy. He's very... very rocky. There we go. <sighs> Good. Don't know if that guy respawns. I think he does. It's not the biggest deal if he does. But yeah. So we're coming over here. Um, yeah. There is a ladder here so you can go back. But they give you uh, this slide to make you feel like, oh, maybe you can't. But no, there's a ladder here. So... You can totally go back that way. It is just better to get it. Um, but you do not want to explore too much prior to, uh, to anything else because you do want to get the, uh, the bonfire. Yeah, right there. Uh, see, I can't... Oh, Undead Bone Shard, that's good. So, boost my... Boost my thing. Awesome. Uh, I actually, I can't remember, because I feel like I remember reading or hearing someone say that, like, that bonfire doesn't spawn until you kill the, um, kill that gargoyle, but I'm not exactly sure. I think that might not be true. But yeah, so now we're going to go back, because, you know, no time like the present to try and deal with those annoyances. Um, yeah. But yeah, they, they really do like their enemy types in this game, I will say. In terms of, oh, we're just going to have annoying enemy that doesn't, doesn't sap your health or anything, just, just makes it less. Okay, good. Took out. Got three of them right there. Okay. Basically, you don't want to be snuck up on by these guys. You want to be the one doing the sneaking. No. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, okay. You can. If you're quick enough, you can dodge out of the way. Yeah. And then run. So I don't believe enemies will chase you into essentially area like differences. Right? Like this is now like the profaned capital area set like things. So I don't think enemies will do that. Okay thing is, right, like, me healing myself to full is pointless. In fact, it's better for me not to. 
which is in, which is interesting, right? Like they, that's an interesting like um, enemy strategy where it's like it's actually a pointless thing for you to full heal the full because like yeah, they're just gonna decrease the total amount of health you have anyway, right? They're not going to do damage to you the normal way, so why heal entirely and make it pointless? Alpha helm and stuff. Oh, come on. Hmm? Weird. Don't know if I was supposed to be able to do that. Yep, get you out of here. Yeah. Ugh, you're annoying. Okay, yeah, and he's in there, and we'll take care of him. But, I want to do this first. It's locked. Darn it. God damn it, all these different keys and things. It's like, oh yeah, I got this key for this area in the in the place, and this key for this area in the place, but they're different different things for different areas and the different places. Um, I don't trust this area. Doing doing a perimeter check before I pick up anything. Check for illusory walls and all that jazz. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Scared the living shit out of me. Dust Crown King. Reduce the spell after consumption, but also lowers HP. Leaf color crown ring bestowed upon the princess of Ulysseal. Ancient land of golden sorceries. Does those things. Ulysseal Sinaz for its lost sorceries, of which the Xanthus sorcerers are dedicated scholars. This crown ring is a rare artifact of great magic heritage. Xanthus ashes. Okay, cool. Um, wait, are the ashes usable items or something? Yeah. Rubbish. Oh, no, there they are. Umbral Ash of a sorcerer who explored the golden sources of a long lost land. With this, the Shrine Hame will prepare new items. They were called the Xanthus Scholars, but some foolishly intimate er, foolishly imitate them by simply dressing in yellow. <laughs> uh, lovely. Okay, so... Okay, I don't want to... There we go. Just take him out quick. Get him into an area that isn't dark as heck. Take him out elsewhere. Okay, so for whatever reason, I had to do that. Um, it's locked. See, there's her in there, and she's the dark pyromancer lady. Um, I don't exactly remember how to get her. Let me, let me check that up here, I guess. Yes, three dark high romance feature. Carl. Uh, TCS accepts accepts violent occasional pain. Jenna, the key to her cell is that she found in the profane capital of it. Okay. So I can't get her yet. And nor do I actually care about getting her. I was more just curious than anything. So, she's going to stay there forever. Um, so that led up to the dragon area thing. Um, so now I can just go back to the profaned capital. Um, yeah, so I... Yeah, I've done all of Eartha Dungeon, and now I'm going to move down to profane capital. Yeah, so there's no boss in Eartha Dungeon. It's just the area being an absolute 
garbage fire in terms of killing me a lot. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a mean area, and I'm kind of glad there's no boss. Because I don't really know where you'd put a boss run in that area for being absolutely real here. I'm going to take a sip just to make sure nothing bad happens. Because doing this instead. Okay. But let's go back to Firelink, pop, or give everyone their things, pop the uh, Undead Bone Shard, and level up. And also level up my weapons. That would be nice. Do a little bit more damage. Uh, travel, actually, let's um, organize spell box, or storage box. Don't need you guys. Rakuma, don't need you. Don't need a pickaxe. Um, yeah, no. Probably should buy some more regular arrows in case I need them. Uh, actually, let's what, uh, do spell FP. Grady Boost Sorceries. Yeah, don't need that. Yeah, don't need that. Okay. So let's travel back to Bowling. Oof. Yeah, this area, this area's tough. Well, not Profane Capital. Profane Capital, as far as I remember, isn't too bad. Although that might just be a mistaken memory on my part, if we're being absolutely honest. Okay, so we got... Uh, yeah, we got coal for him. That is funny. Give coal. No words. Where did you happen upon this coal? Dungeon. This is much too dark. Yet a smith I remain, but your fight is for the flame. A cursed fate this may be. Yeah. These weapons. So now if I wanted to, right, I could do a hollow one. Uh, but not going to. I can reinforce my weapon. Um... Yeah, so I'll be getting uh, 10 on the scaling bonus and plus 9, so plus 19 damage every swing. So that's really good. But now I'm now I'm Forti Knight chunks. Pretty so that's careful. that's probably going to take me a bit to get if we're being real here. Ah, Umbralash. Gracious, let Ioma. Purchase. Uh, got all these embers. Could buy them, but don't really feel the need to. Got, got charcoal, pine, resin, and bundle. All that stuff. I'll probably buy those at some point. Um, yeah, cause lightning and fire are usually like the good ones to go to, based on the enemy types. But other than that, they're just like, eh, whatever. Okay, yeah. Uh, some rings... Wood grain ring slows equipment degradation. Eastern lands made of metal, but with wood grain crest on its surface, slows equipment degradation. Wielders of swords originating in the same region follow our practice of inscribing special words on the blades of their swords and are naturally drawn. Okay, so that makes sense because all the eastern land ones are like katanas and other things. Oh yeah, so we got these um, grotesque armor associated with Smo, the last knight to stand in defense of the Rune Cathedral. Eastern helm. Eastern sets are always, like, pretty darn cool. Um, do you sell arrows? I don't think you do. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's, uh, ground? No, wait, there you go. Yeah, let's... Let's just buy 30 arrows, just in case. Ashen 1... Okay, so that's that. Um, so let's go over to here. Me. Level then up. Then take okay. So I did boost my. That's only going up by one now. That's still going up by two. Um. Okay, so I got two, two levels. Okay, so that's good. So... I 
Because I think I've, I've probably hit the soft cap. Right. Where it's... I, I do want to check this. ES3 stat. Oops. Um, okay. Dark Souls stats hard cap of 99. Soft caps. All stat soft caps. So, every stat soft caps. So, Vigor is 44. At 44, Vigor provides less than 10. Yeah, Attunement, yeah. Endurance is 40. Bit is 40, but I haven't put uh, Dex is 40, and then hard cap at 50. Or wait, Dex. Okay. Okay, yeah, so Dex has a soft cap at 40. Um, but a soft cap for spell casting speed at 50, which is interesting that that's, they're connected. Um, so, if we're being real here, I should probably do some endurance. Okay, so I'll do that. Just to, just to make it a bit more effective. Because, like, I could go higher on decks, but... I'm not going to be gaining as much. Like, damage-wise, it's not going to help. Like, the biggest thing that I can do right now is just try and upgrade my weapon, which is the main thing that I did do. And that increased it by, like, 19 or almost 20. Um, damage, whereas every stat, even though it's A-scaling... Well, I guess the scaling is probably a thing that makes it fine going above the soft cap. But once you hit the hard cap, I think I think it's like yeah, get up to like seventy five is usually what builds say for like max level stuff, um, or not max level, but like max efficiency. So I gave right, yeah, 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 can't do that. Yeah, do do all those. Key to the oldest cell and all. Get a barred window over here at the old dungeon. Okay, yeah, okay. Did all of it. So now let's. I'm over here. Link. Hello. Ah, speak freely, Valoji. Oh Lord, I pray when the moment the A of the claw. Okay, sounds good. Poison throwing knife. Very cool. Ooh, more rings to sacrifice. That might not be bad to be take, safe. take them up on the offer at some point. Because <laughs> right now I have the one in my inventory. I think I have another one in the um. I think I have another one in my box. Um, but, so let's go down to the profane capital to try and do this. So there's a couple things that I have to do here. Um, one is explore the area, and two is finish um, Katarina's quest. And I think, I can't remember if it was over there, because basically what I have to do is I have to Drop down, I think, over to, like, the right side. Yeah, get over to there. So that's where I have to explore to help out my buddy. I can't exactly remember how I get there. I think it's, like, go down and around out there. So let's go try. And this is why I wanted to make sure I did everything prior to other stuff. Drop down out here. There are stairs. I think that leads potentially nowhere. Let's check it out. Let's check it out, buddy. But also, <laughs> got my shield out just in case it doesn't lead nowhere. Okay, yeah. So it, le it leads nowhere. It's like, hey, you can't go anywhere. You would see this from over there. And understand that now. It was coming over here, and I believe there's another gargoyle. Yeah. yeah, I will say the the upgrade to the damage really good. Gargoyle flame hammer, nice. Let's look at that. 
Stone Torch Hammer wielded by Gargoyles of the Propane Capital. Profane Flame, which never goes out, can be used this weapon with fire attack. Okay, pretty, pretty standard fare in terms of description. So I need to go up there, but I want to just take a little walk around, make sure everything's all good. Yeah. So basically over there, through a doorway that those guys are standing in front of, that's like the boss. So the boss run is like, go down the big ladder from the from the bonfire, run over the bridge, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, and then run past. Um, because those guys aren't like the ones that decrease your health. Those guys just shoot fire at a distance. Um, or the other boss run is go across the bridge, don't do any of the drops, then get by the gargoyle, which is difficult because he's big, and then run around because it's not much of an area back there. Okay. So this area is kind of annoying because, one, I don't exactly remember where everything is, and two, that guy just wants to lead you down a hole immediately. That's not the only hole, I think, in this area either, so I'm being very careful. Yeah. You're running. That's fine. I don't need you. I don't use boss weapons anyway, so you offer me nothing. I'll take you anyway. Yeah, got more of those centipedes. Centipede guys down there. Okay. So, this one is there. Okay. So, let's come over here and get this. Just don't know what this is. Blooming purple moss clump. Okay. So, heals. Because I believe that this. Unlike the other swamp, like, unlike the burst swamp that we were in, which is poison, I believe that's a toxic swamp. So, toxic is like, like in Pokemon, where there's like different kinds of poison, there's regular poison and toxic poison. Um, toxic poison in Dark Souls is much the same, where um, you just take it a lot worse. Like, the damage it does to you is a lot faster. So you want to avoid it a lot more. <laughs> or else you will not have a very fun time. Um, okay. So now the issue is I don't exactly remember where I needed to go. So I, th I think... Okay. Here's what I think. I, th I don't remember the run perfectly. But I think the run is to get over there and onto, onto that stuff. Um, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop these on. Definitely some stuff over there. Okay, and then get up. Don't want to fight those guys, especially in a toxic swamp. Much easier to not do it. One of the one of the many fun examples of Dark Souls level design, where it's just, nah, I don't think I will. Doesn't doesn't seem worth it. Okay, so that's it. I, I remember now. Um, interesting thing about this guy, just like a dude with hand head. go. Cool. Dunk pies. Love it. More sorcerer. You are a mimic, because of course you are. Yeah. I sincerely do not know the last time I was not a mimic. Actually, no, I do. I do remember it. What is this room? Weird. Okay. So that's behind here. There we 
There you go. Full combo. Full combo. Or sorcerer's staff. Catalyst used by the court sorcerers of the profane capital, very powerful when wielded by an exceptionally intelligent sorcerer. The court sorcerers laid claim to the legacy of the renowned Big Hat Logan, going so far as to emulate him with copies of the staff he used. Yes, Big Hat Logan is um, one of the sorcery teachers in DS1. He actually has his own quest line, where if you complete the quest line, he just kind of goes insane in like this big library. Well, no, he, he hollows out. That's the actual term. He hollows out in this big um uh in this big library um and uh just attacks you while not wearing like any clothes. <laughs> Frankly it's kinda of funny. Logan scroll, cool, so you can give that to um what is it like Orbeck or whatever? Orbeck? Uh, this. So you sometimes go up here and then I'd be like, oh yeah, cool. And then you see the hand thing. Um, okay, so let's come over here. Logan Scroll. Secret Scroll of the Profane Capital Court Sorcerers containing sorcer sorceries of Logan. The Court Sorcerers use the scroll to claim airship to Logan's legacy, though how that claim stands up to closer scrutiny is another story. And then Wrath of the Gods. Primal form of force creates a powerful shockwave. Wrath of the Gods is an epic tale, while Force is but a woefully incomplete version of that yarn. This primal account of profound fury emits a shockwave that also inflicts damage. Yeah. There we go. So that's that. It's like, oh yeah, you come around here first and then go up. Um, now, if I remember right, yes. This is it. So this is the obtuse annoying thing that's like how is I how are you supposed to look around you have to make this jump you have to you have to come up here look around see a non graded window realize that you are lower than Irithel dungeon and open the cell covetous gold serpent ring oh you are a saint. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Siegfried of Katarina, yep. express my deepest gratitude. Here we go, buddy. Take this. A token of my thanks. Go on. It's all yours. Thank you. Titanite slab. So this is the thing that lets you upgrade a weapon to its final tier. Right, because I did two Titanite Trunks, up to four, then OB6, <clears throat> and then you need a slab. And there are very few ways to actually get Titanite slabs. <laughs> this is one of them. Ah, uh, no, please. I, and... Ah, uh, I, uh... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's good. So basically... That is the one of the two main reasons why I want to do it. Two is because he's a bro and he helps a lot in the boss fight that's to come. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to explore this area a bit more. The Aerithel Dungeon. So I think... Where does this... get exactly where this leads at to. Yeah, okay. What the hell? How the... How the shit? How the shit? How the hell? Jailer's Keep. Okay, so I think that'll get What's-Her-Face out. I don't even want to fight you. Where did they come from? That's my main question. It's like, what the heck? I don't remember them ever. Where did they, where did they appear from? Like, I'm so confused. So confuzzled. I am absolutely... I am absolutely gaffed. I have no idea. Gaffed. Don't know why I said that word. Um. Okay, but I did get... 
the jailer's key ring. Erythelian jailer's ring filled with many keys. Held by the jailer, opens on what grounds they remain in prison, considering that by now they are mindless hollows or unrealized gibbering pools. Yeah, so that's the thing I need to get uh, Carla out, but I don't exactly care about getting her out. Might do it anyway, so I can finally give someone the dark pyromancy tome, but it's not the uh, biggest deal for me because I'm not doing pyromancy. So what does it matter? What does it matter to me what a pyromancer might want? Okay, so poison 17. 129. Yes, probably. Okay, so I'll go from sellsword to brigand. Um. There we go. Because the more I resist poison, the better. Just in general. Yeah, you still aggroed to me, bud? Okay, come on. There we go. I'll take a safety sip. There we go. Got my little island. Safety. Purging stone. Okay. There's no way you're not alive. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. Now, main issue, one of them. I never checked the covetous gold silver ring. Fallen foes are more likely to drop items. Okay. Gold ring depicting a snake that could have been, but never was. A dragon. Fallen foes are more likely to drop items. Snakes are known as creatures of great avarice, devouring prey even larger than themselves by swallowing them whole. If one shackles a cause for discontent, perhaps it is time for some old-fashioned greed. Yeah, so, you want a specific enemy drop? Put that on. No. That. Nope. Okay. Um, thing is, poison comes up quick as well, right? It's not. Not, um, not something that's very slow. Um, right, poison, moss, comp, yeah. Probably should have more of those, honestly, for being real. You know what I'm gonna do? Come in here. Take off the daggers. Oop, come on. Yeah, this is just easier. Oh, he's freaking serious. They know. This one's closer. There we go. I just want to take them out as easily as possible that way. 
That way I don't use any resources when I eventually get around to moving. I don't have to worry about getting hit. Okay, so... Okay, good. Good. Okay. Don't know what this opens up to. Very curious. Okay. Got some hands. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you guys are weird. Yeah, and you got like moveset that specifically goes against anyone trying to really get you from behind. Eleonora. Okay, dung pies, dung pies. Okay, so I've got an axe called Eleonora. 20 strength, 18 dex. A strange weapon found among malformed inhabitants of the Rovain capital. Frame flame was triggered by the curse of these women, relatives of a certain oracle, but despite their culpability, they went on living without any cares. Interesting. Okay. So those things were women. That is... So they were women that somehow did something to change into that, or did the profane flame do that to them? That's my main thing, okay. Um, got that. Inventory, um, purging stone. What is, what's that purging stone? Where are you? Reduce undead curse buildup and cures hollowing. Oh, okay. Curious skull reduces undead curse buildup and cures hollowing. And have us launder the land of hollows. Use the secret treasure to feign normalcy. Occasionally a hollow fools even himself and turns on his own kind. Okay, interesting. Yeah, if I remember right, the wiki said you can use that, and it won't, it'll just change your appearance back, it won't, um, it won't mess with the ending. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, nope. Nope. Get out of here. Good. Okay. Uh, 29,000 to level. Okay. Uh, do I have any... Do I have any rings that boost poison resistance? Yeah, I do. Um... Yeah, I got... Yeah, help me a little bit. Here's just a helm, actually. I don't want to put it on because I think that makes it even worse. But yeah, I think it added a decent clip. Clip? I'm not Usalia from Disgaea 5 clip. <laughs> See, I wish it slowed the rate at which it filled, not just like the. the other bits. Okay. So, you know what I'm going to do? So if you don't want to come over here... Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, so with the brigand armor, I can, I can actually uh, roll at a little bit above 60, so that's good. God damn it. Uh, Two 
two hits is probably enough to keep it aggroed from far. There we go, baby! Okay. Yeah, I'm really just trying to play it as safe as possible. Road. Bitch. Come on. Good. Okay. So I think that's all of them. So now let's get going. Okay, it's not all of them. Spider Ring. Come on. There you go. Oh. Okay, so Toxic ain't that bad. Frankly, I think I once again overhyped myself. It's definitely worse than regular poison, but it is hashtag not that bad. Um but I don't believe there's any way to fix it, per se. Um, there's nowhere else for me to kind of circle back to, so let's homeward bone to the Shrine Bonfire. Because I have enough to level up, so might as well. <clears throat> And did I get any key items? Logan scroll, that's it. Let's go give him his reward for, I guess, being my friend or whatever. Back again, I, I suppose this may... Oh my. This is a scroll of the prodigious, a masterful sorcerer. And now we have a scroll. Okay, see you. Come again. See you later. Don't exactly feel like talking to you. How are you doing? Oh, Chad, do you wish? You know, in my heart, I would be pleased, though, to be but if I'll terrible. Or just answering you. Have a pleasant journey, I pray. Yeah, see you later. Okay. Not gonna talk to a gray rat, because I don't want him to go anywhere. I don't think he can go anywhere just yet, but don't even want to risk it. Okay. So. Well, up. Do not heal the Dark Sigil. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking what I should do is get Dex and Endurance to their soft caps, and then I can start working on it. Although, okay, yeah, you know, I'll, keep, I'll keep doing a little bit of Endurance. So, you know, Endurance works well with the build I got going on right now. Where it's like, hey, do a do a bunch of attacks, and you get more damage. It's so whack, whack, whack. And the more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine, nine rolls. That's pretty darn good. One, two, three, four, five, six attacks. Okay, that's, that's pretty darn good. I don't think I ever burned my undead bone shark. Okay, cool. Good. My my bonfire is a bit better. I could have had... <laughs> I remember I was like, I'll go back there specifically to do X, Y, Z, and I forgot to do Z. Funny, funny. Um, okay, so... Did essentially all of the back area of Profane Capital. Now I could go back to the dungeon and let her out, so I might just do that anyway. But that would also be... And uh, risky for no real reason in terms of a death, but you know what? Might as well, right? It's an NPC. Might as well try and unlock 
our stuff. Do 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 do. Going up the wood and ladder. <laughs> but I will fight you. I'm the giant today. I will do that. It's not a. Uh, it's not a question. I'll fight you, because you'll just be here afterwards. There we go. So, four slashes staggers. That's pretty good. Get these boosted swords. Okay. Now, let's just run over Hey, bitch. There we go. Hey, gang. Hey, bitch. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd all but look good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn head. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? No, I'm nice. Accept my apologies. So, this is a land of monstrosity. Offer. You're here to save, but I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Don't worry about Is that it. something? Save her nonetheless. Oh, really? You are no ordinary woman. I'm lovely. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired. I am Carla. Cool. See you later. Um, I also want to change back to my cell sword set. Because I like it. I just think it's neat. Okay. Actually, we're being real here. Let's just... Let's just go back to the last bonfire I rested at. <laughs> no need to run back. We got plenty of homework puns. Not really saving anything. Okay. Let's see. We can... Whoop. Throw down this. Got the texture load in. It's a long ladder. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you walk up here, you see, like, okay, I can't walk up this side. But you can go the other way. But yeah. So these guys are annoying. They're the main difficulty of, like, the boss run. Because... They want to hit you with fire. go. Okay. So four is not stagger. I guess it was just that I got lucky with certain hits in the thing, and that's what caused it to stagger. Like, maybe hitting it in, like, the body specifically is what, uh, caused it to stagger. Okay. But yeah, got all these... Sit. Oh my god. I was not expecting you guys to be that tough. Gonna be real here. That... That was the surprising part to me. Okay, can I sneak up on you? Probably can't backstab you, but... Okay. There we go. Okay. So that leads out to, like, the main thing, and then the boss is there, obviously. Okay, good. I'm just trying to clear out everything. Uh, 
neither of you guys are. Our enemies. Good. There's no, I don't believe there's any uh, special ones. I think there's like one item on like the drop thing, but that's not a big deal. But yeah, killing, killing all the enemies just makes collecting these items so much easier. That way you don't have long range fireballs. Just tagging you all the way. But yeah, there's not much actually to the uh, faint capital, as far as I remember, because yeah, the, the one's the poison swamp, toxic swamp, and then this. And this is pretty short, sweet, and hard to beat. Uh, chest over there. I don't remember if it's like you hit one and they all aggro. Okay, we're just gonna roll out over here. Oh, okay. There we go. Do not wanna risk fighting these guys in that situation. There we go. Yeah. Okay. You guys I can see being a bit annoying. You can't really tell if that judge just as a mimic. You just assume. Time than one hit. L1. Running L1 does fine. Honestly, taking the stab, not too bad. I'd rather take the stab than the, uh. Rather take the stab than any of the fire moves. Okay. But yeah, so the game is relatively. tries to get clever by putting things in like like having geometry like purposely clip but that's why you attack them first so you don't want to risk it All right this one's a mimic this one might also be a mimic yeah these are both mimics there we go Careful not to. Great shield of glory. There we go. Very careful not to attack both of them at the same time. Rustic gold coin. Okay. Great shield of glory. 100% physical. 7, 8, 65, 52. 80 stability. A great shield adorned with flowering or flowing patterns, a celebration of an ancient glory, boasts the highest stability of such shields, but with reduced stamina regeneration speed. Perhaps it is glory that begets indolence. Um, okay, so I've got plenty of things to drop in the, uh, drop in the little thing. What, uh, what other, did I pick up any rings, or was it other, like a spell or something? Don't. I don't remember the other things I picked up. Um, oh yeah, I picked up all the wild wow, protection of all the seeker of the spurn. The steel helm was trimmed to reduce weight. This day, troubadours sing up tales of the wandering knight Alva and his travels, and of his involvement with the saint and the witch. Needless to say, the songs traditionally end in tragedy. <laughs> Needless to say, one need not say they end in tragedy when playing a Dark Souls game, <laughs> because of course they do, you fool. Um, but yeah, so I'm sitting on close to level and not full health flasks. So I don't really want to go into the boss fight right now. 
So, I'm gonna go get that item. So now everyone's dead. Now I can easily just go do it. Get the item, I don't have to worry about anything. To make sure I don't mess up the uh, drop off. That's the uh, that's the biggest worry. But even that's pretty well designed. They put the uh, broken stuff pretty obviously. Oni Slayer Grape Bow. Okay, that was one of things I picked up. Like Oni Slayer arrows. Uh, Unique grape bow hand down in eastern land where the tales are told of its use in slaying giant horned oni. Drawing a bow of this size takes time and leaves the user vulnerable. Only specialized great arrows can be fired from the bow. And that goes to the uh, oni slayer great arrow made from the feathers of an aged crow. It is said that these arrows fly as straight as their master. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, then you come down here, 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 yeah, here. Yeah. The worry is that they are, they're going to hit you with like fireballs as you go around. Um, but once again, just going to pop a homeward bone. But this time, I'm going to the shrine. Excuse me, I'm going to go turn off. Let's see. Under the sea, under the sea. Ah, delicious. Okay, status. Inventory. Yeah, I've got plenty of items, but welcome speak. Level up. Maybe. There we go. Could get a little bit more health, but I'd rather get this. The interesting thing about the upcoming fight is pretty neat. Um So, now let's go back to the profane capital, because we're about to have a fun boss fight. <sighs> okay, well, actually, let's see. Damn it. Okay. I don't remember how to get that item. I think you have to do a fall. But I can't remember from... Well, actually, wait. No, there's a ladder out there. But it seems like the kind of fall you could make. Probably not that important. It's probably just a consumable or something. Yeah. But I tried. I mean, it probably wouldn't take very much for me to go get it. It's probably just, like, drop down there. And then there's probably, like, a ladder over there. But it doesn't matter. Okay. So. Not over here. And going down the ladder. Um, I actually... Hey, Fontana! You have returned to call me a nerd. Great. <laughs> um, okay. So I actually think I need to... 
drop my weight a little bit because this upcoming fight is uh, one of like the FromSoft staple kind of things where it's not a hard fight. It's just a very cinematic fight. It's a, it's a set piece fight. So I need to lighten myself because it's very similar to Rykard in uh, in Elden Ring. But there's a neat thing that's going to happen when I come into this boss fight because I did Sigurd's questline. Sup, bro? So he has a specific sword on him. And it's a sword that I need to pick up in this arena. Your old friend. I, Siegfried of the Knights of Katarina, have come to uphold my promise. Yeah, so this is the entire quest he was doing. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. Yeah, he's so cool. You are so cool. It's really cool what we're about to see, because basically he has this thing called the Storm Ruler, uh, and you pick one up right here. And it has very, uh, uh, low, um, very low uh, needed stats because you this is what you're meant to use yeah You just do this, and if you have um, C word in your party, like you just do it over and over and over again between the two of you. And it's fantastic. boss fight. Basically, the worst possible thing that could happen is he dies in the boss fight, but it's not usually a worry because the Storm Ruler does insane stuff. But yeah, we did it! Woo! One of the easier boss fights, but yeah. Um, this is a boss fight where it's only in this fight that the Storm Ruler gets to be this cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna turn it off. Um, great sword with a broken blade, also known as the Giant Slayer, for the residual strength of a storm that brings giants to their knees. Yorm the Giant once held two of these, but gave one to the humans who doubted him, and left the other to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. So one he left to the humans, and it just ended up here. Um, presumably from someone else that tried to fight him, but failed. And then the other one to his dear friend, Siegfried. Um, but yeah... So, the Storm Ruler um, is actually from uh, Demon Souls, where you fight the, I think, the Lord of Storms or whatever, and he's this giant, like, giant manta ray in the sky. And it's another set piece boss where, like, he's just flying and you can only use the Storm Ruler and it's, like, special thing to hit him, unless you're a magic build, at which point you can use, like, magic arrows and stuff. Um... But yeah, and it's just like it does a giant wind scar from like Inuyasha and like hits it. And it's a set piece boss. And they kind of repurposed it in this one with Storm Ruler and Yorm. And then they kind of did something very similar um, in Elden Ring with Rikard, But in that one, it was a spear. Uh, but yeah, so here's our bro. It seems I'm in your debt. Once again, 
My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. I mean, honestly, he kind of soloed that no. fight. I got like For three hits in. Toast. Maybe two. <sighs> Yo, Seagra. To your valor. And my old friend, Yorm. Long may the sun shine. Long may the sun shine. You're a strong man, Siegfried. So cool. Uh, I finished that video, but I did get some new knowledge on Dunsparce. Uh, now, in DS Canon, are there others cursed and given immortality as, uh, that we have? Yes. Um, basically, there's a whole bunch of people that are known as, like, like the undead, the... the and basically, the way it works is every time you die, you come back, and the only way it stops, or I guess the only way you really die is when you hollow out, and that's when you lose all hope. Right, you lose whatever's driving you to continue living. Um, is the idea? It's very strange game. I think it was called Double Secondary Check. Well, the only thing to do really after a nice toast. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. Thank you. Oh shit! I forgot that. That this did this. Fuck. Okay. The fire fades and awaits its one last lord. Okay. Fuck, I forgot that I went it right into this. So it's not bad. Okay. So yeah, I get Prince Lothic, yeah. So basically, because you hit another dead end and they don't really have a way to tell you where to go. Save his soul. They port you exactly where you need to go and you'd know immediately where you are <laughs> so you go there pretty early in the game <laughs> yeah um yeah sorry um i don't wanna die and lose my souls right now Sorry, bud. <laughs> Don't really. Yeah. So the reason why I was watching um, the thing is because I saw something where it was like, oh yeah, as you walk away from him, he's just like slump over dead. Um, it gives you another Storm Roller Pierce Shield and then the Katarina set. Which I guess is good because I bought it all. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm glad that I get it back. Um, but yeah, so... Now I have two Storm Rulers. With the same item description, unfortunately. But then you get the Katarina set, which is heavy. It's like heavy, but, you know, very good defenses. Uh, often, ridiculed, often ridiculed for its onion-like shape, infuriating the country's proud knights, but the masterfully forged curved design makes it very effective for deflecting blows. Yeah. So basically the idea is... This was, um, this was Sigurd's driving thing. And now that Yorm has been taken care of, he would either fully hollow out or just fully die. Um, and if I remember right, there was a game theory a long time ago, several years ago at this point, about, like, um, about this, where, like, there's an NPC associated with with each of the Lords of Cinders and, like, to, who to kill them. And, like, the theory was that we are specifically the Tarnished, like, brought back to life to try and go take out Prince Lothric. Um, <clears throat> but... I can't exactly remember all of the details on it, 
But yeah, so after this boss fight, they teleport you back to the lady that gives you the, um, the banner. The small author banner that lets you fight Vort. <laughs> they teleport you back to that room. Now, the neat thing about that in particular is it kind of alludes to, um, a thing that lets you skip way far forward in the game if you're good. And that is, um, basically you get an item from the woman that was, like, kind of on the ground writhing. Uh, and that item lets you access the Dancer of the Boreal Valley, which is a boss that I've never beaten myself. Um, and that, uh, and that lets you move on to the Lothric area, essentially. Now, if you attack and kill her, you get that item. It's not, like, locked behind doing other Lords of Cinders. Um, it's just doing the other two automatically teleports you to that, or the the other ones just teleports you to, uh, to her. Now, I don't know if it's always after, um, I don't know if it's always after Yorm, or if it's after... All, or if it's after, like, the last one other than Lothric. I'd have to check. But it's pretty neat. Because it's like, okay, we, we we understand you might not know where to go. We're going to fix that. Well, it's just to still seep through strength. Used to acquire numerous souls. Yeah. Yorm is the descendant of an ancient conqueror, but was asked by the very people once subjugated to lead them, serving as both a weighty blade and a stone hard shield. Okay, let's see... What thing? Oh, hey, how's it going, well, dude? I'm Leonard, the Ringfinger. Remember me? As you're making quite an effort of it, so if you yearn for a proper red eye, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. Thanks. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't, I have I've yet to do any invading and if stuff. You fancy a proper red, then kill the Dark Wraith. Survivor of the he has been a prisoner for I can <laughs> Okay. So that's cool. I can go do that. Aha, that so begin transposition. So Deacons, old demon, Volnir, Aldridge, Deacon, Volnir, Pontiff, Blood Wolf, Blood Wolf, Crystal Sage Demon. Yeah, okay. Yorm's great machete. <laughs> not not a great sword. Just great machete. Great Mache will by will long ago by Yorm the Giant. Yorm once lumbered on the front lines with a great shield, but one day, in place of his shield, a left-handed notch was added to his machete, uh, enabling the smashing technique that would become the legacy of his later years. <laughs> and then, uh, Lord's Good Hammer, and then Old Demon King, Demon Aldridge, Yorm. Okay, Yorm's Great Shield. There we go. Great Shield used long ago by Yorm the Giant increases the user's poise. As a lord, Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one-man vanguard. Following the loss of the one he wished to protect, he forsook his shield. Okay, so 40 strength to use that, 38 strength to use that. Once again, we got another boss soul that is just, um, that is just going to be level, level fodder at whatever level point. Level then, up. Then take so I got plenty of levels. Okay. Got endurance can go up another. Um okay, so I'm at eleven Very well. thirty thirty two thousand. Oh. So you know what I might as well try and get to it. Um thirty two thousand. Now let's pop those. Um, was it 32 Ashen even? One. Or was it... Actually, I think I rounded up. Right? Yeah. So it wasn't even 32 even. But you know, well, a whole bunch of levels in my pocket. But I don't want to randomly use them. There we go. 149. What's that 150 stamina? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
couple more levels and I think I'll be able to get a seventh out. Or six and not fully deplete the uh, stuff. Which would be cool. Which would be quite cool. Cinders of a Lord, that's it. The Lords will not return to their thrones. Lonely Yorm became a Lord of Cinder to put the profane flame to rest, knowing full well that those who spoke of him as Lord were quite insincere. Oh. Poor him. Okay, but now we also have Dark Pyromancy Woman. And if I remember right, she hangs out, yeah, she hangs out here. Ah, oh, as I said, I am Carla. And I'm grateful. Hi, Carla. The only thing that my, although my that wouldn't. That's the Dark Sorcerer. You're a wicked, very well. Some may avert. Be careful, though. Let it be. Oh, and one that resonates <laughs> very well. I will. Besides, Dark Sorceries, yeah. So now she's got a couple things: Black Flame, Black Flame Orb, but nothing that I'm ever going to use or whatever. There is one thing: there is a darkness within man. Whether the fear will spark. Is up, fear not. Okay. Do stay safe. Will do. So, what do you do? You have anything to say? Ah, the, I am. Heed <laughs> my fear, the home of pyromancy, undoubtedly. But who's to say that? Do not be God. What? Okay. Eh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so that is that's one boss I down in the stream, and now let's go pop the Lord or Cinder thing on his throne, the big throne. Such a big skull. So cool. Okay, so you know what? Let's, um... Let's go take What's-His-Face's advice and go see if I can't fight the Dark Wraith. Because this is the elevator that I was wondering about at the beginning of the game, because I couldn't remember what I had to do. But now I'm a lot stronger than I was back then. Although I'm still wearing the same armor, which is funny. There we go. Ow. Ow. Would you do that? Okay, I was hoping that I would be able to L1 him and just kill him, but I guess not. There we go, use lift chamber key. And back. See, I don't know what level they were assuming that I would be doing this at. Yeah, this guy. go, easy enough. Red Eye Orb! Dark Sword. Okay. So the Red Eye Orb is, I think, yeah. <laughs> orb! Yep. <laughs> you been watching any uh, games done quick this past week? Yeah, so Cursed Red Eye it lets you invade another world, but it's uh, usable. This one, it's unlimited use. Uh, defeat the host of embers of the world you have invaded to gain the strength of fire. Red Eye Orb is rooted in a tiny land swallowed by darkness long ago. Some choose to pull the orb to other use, put the orb to other uses. To embark on this path, enter the service of Rosaria in the Cathedral of the Deep. I have nice. Yeah, I was watching it before. Uh, actually, I I used my Prime sub last night uh, to get the uh, to help get the Ocarina of Time like beta thing showcase, which is really cool. Hi, this is just watching that. Um, uh, and I was also watching some more of that, like, all throughout the day today. It was really fun. Really neat. I also got a gift sub. Also, I did. Nice! Yeah, like, everyone just gift subs. It's so generous. It's, a, it's such a good cause. Like, I, I would have donated money, but, uh, I, I already know money's gonna not be necessarily tight this month but recently bought a mattress and financed it, so I paid uh, a certain certain amount of money uh, this month to help pay it down beyond my minimum payments. So, <laughs> I don't, uh, 
I don't necessarily have the financial wiggle room that I usually do. But I'm certainly not paying beyond my means or anything for it. I just I just don't like owing money, so I always try and pay things off faster than uh than any payment plan. Like uh when I bought my car, like I had to finance like four or five grand of it, because I paid most of it up front. Like paid like ten grand up front, because I was just saving for that specific purpose. Um and yeah, I was like, oh yeah, put me on like whatever payment plan you need. Um, I don't mind some magic cards I bought. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, some of those things are expensive, man. Like, you know, you, if, you, if, you, if you get the, the, the Lotus card, I just felt like it. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, but I, I was like, yeah, just like, because I put so much up front, they were like, yeah, we can only, we have to give you, like, a seven-year plan or whatever for, like, someone to finance you. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And they're like, yeah. And it's like, it's this place. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I paid it off, like, in three months. Because <laughs> I was still living at my mom's. And, um, and it, it, oddly enough, right, I, things just worked out. Everything's coming up bison where, um, Basically, uh, the way it worked was I bought my car, um, yeah, go from here. I bought my car in December, like, right at the end of December of 2019, um, and I, yeah, and so I had to pay, like, uh, excise tax on, like, three days of owning the car in 2019, and then 2020 happened. Uh, and I was like, wow, I couldn't have picked a better time to buy a used car because the used car market just got super scarce. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know that East A um, edition came with bookends. That might be in Jeff can be stashed. Nice. Um, but yeah, so that was one thing where I was like, man, I just got lucky. But yeah, so basically that lady was up here. You remember, she originally gave us the small Lothric banner. So now, the boss run to another boss is from a boss run. <laughs> Which I think is pretty funny. Bitch. Um, but yeah, so we're about to have a fun time with this boss. Um, <sighs> see, the thing is, I've never beat this boss before. Originally, and I'm tempted to try and use uh, one of like the temporary boost items quickly. Yeah, so I've, I've yet to use any of these even once this this stream. So Prince Lothric. Is in your hands. Yes. Yeah. Please save his soul. I'll try. Tell him what he must be a law. Basin of Baz. Uh, did I tell you that how combat in Xenoblade X just got super rough? No, you didn't. <laughs> how to get super rough? Did everything just get like a lot more health or something? Okay, Basin of Baz. Place Basin at a statue of a beheading knight. Chalice used in own ceremony in which Lothric knights take their vows it is only a formality now, but it remains as an empty practice. Place this basin at a statue of a beheading knight. Not exactly. I learned. Okay. So basically, you come over here, it initiates a thing. If you kill her, you get that same basin, and you can just do this literally as like your first boss outside of the tutorial area. It's insane. I learned that the soul voices that I shout during combat actually matter. Oh god. It's not just random things. Okay. But yeah, like uh, Vort of the Boreal Valley, Dance of the Boreal Valley also comes out of like a weird <laughs> hell abyss in the, s <laughs> in the air, but is very quiet and not nearly as uh, abrasive. I actually have to pay attention instead of just spamming skills. Good bonus. Okay, 
so that's a that's a hard grab. Oop. Did it. First try. First try! <laughs> yes, baby! Oh my god. There was... There was focus there. Oh my god. Cell Sword Twin Blades? Really good. Wow, chat spoiling the fight for me. <laughs> Uh, it was a quick fight. The Cell Sword Twin Blades do a lot of damage, along with the, um, Ponto's Right Eye and stuff, and also the fire I put on. The fire went out quick. These papers last very little time. I don't even know how much more damage they helped. Place the base on the statue of the Bang. Yes, I know. But yeah. Oh, god darn. Whew. I got, got very quiet. I was like, okay, can't can't talk <laughs> got it gotta focus on this because if i do die i need to make sure i learned but you know the dps on these on these things is crazy i mean the dancer did do quite a bit of damage got me about down to half health on my embered state um but uh luckily my estus flask does quite a bit of healing uh yeah okay so now i got 70 uh, but i did also get Soul of the Dancer. Uh, the Pond of Sullivan bestowed a double slashing sword upon a distant daughter of the formal royal family, ordering her to serve first as a dancer and then as an outrider knight, the equivalent to exile. Okay. So let's go level up and check those ones. Because I'm willing to bet right, that this one won't necessarily be a, um, a junk soul that I can just use for currency or levels because the dancer uses twin blades so they're probably not as great as i want them to be right like not, not they're not at the point where i'm like oh yeah i'll use those instead of my cell sword twin blades because these things are boss these things are great <laughs> things are doing damn near yeah they're doing they're doing 300 every every hit or every full thing or yeah Right, because 156 plus 146, that's, that's, what, 302? Or like 312? Aha, In transposition, okay. Okay, so Soul of the Dancer is, gets you one miracle. Miracle of Guinevere, the princess cherished by all, bestow their blessing on a great many warriors. Great chest ahead. Um, okay. Yes, and then we get these. So the requires 12 strength and 9 faith. And 9 int. So, not great because the scaling is spread so wide and the damage type is spread across a lot. I mean, it's good because there's not going to be many things that will fully resist you, but, like, doing physical magic and fire, it's like, <laughs> it's a jack of all but master of none kind of thing. Paired enchanted swords that Pont of Sullivan bestowed upon the dancer of the Boreal Valley. These blades, symbolic of the dancer's vows, are enchanted by dark magic in the right hand and fire in the left, mirroring the Pontiff. Yes, very similar to the Pontiff. Dancer's grace unleash the fury of both blades in a dancing spin motion and use strong attack to continue the performance until, st until stamina is exhausted. Yeah, so once again, similar to Pontiff, um, the dancer fight was a lot easier because the phase switchover just represented not more danger for me, but an opportunity for me to just wail into them and do a crap ton of damage. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get one level and then I have to Welcome pop some stuff. Level up. So, yeah, like definitely in my casual one way back in the day where I was a caster and didn't really have all that much opportunity to do things, um, that fight was a lot harder. 
Um, now, why? Okay, so I need to get up to 37,600. 37,600. Wait, what the hell? Did I have enough? Ah, I have enough for two. Okay, nice. Well, very well. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, you know, what? let's just get you to soft cap. And then. Farewell, Ashen One. Um, but yeah, it's like. Like, the, the vast difference between a high DPS melee and a caster in this game is crazy. Um, and just looked up the plus summary of East Strategy. You know, it's a great game when the person who bothered to write the wiki entry is incredibly dismissive of all aspects. <laughs> <laughs> didn't realize there was an East strategy. Oh, uh, didn't. Got there. No more East games than I thought. Um. You know what? Uh, it's See, it's one of those things where it's like, I want to pop some of the souls to just get a couple more levels. But. I really am one of the kinds of people that's like, I don't want to pop any of these in case I ever need to finish out a level or something. But most of the things are such high le soul count that it won't really matter. There's a game on the DS had nothing to do with that. I'll basically get worse warfare from memory. Uh -huh. Brilliant. I knew you were a dangerous woman. Oh, yeah. Looks could kill. Applause. Now invade and, and if you grow weary of your duty, come on. Give yourself. <laughs> now in and come on. <laughs> Boink. Okay. So that's good. So let's actually go... I think... I think something does happen in Rosaria's bed chambers. So that's why I'm checking this. So I've already, I've already done this. So I think what happens... So pick Xanthus crown. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Xanthus crown. One of the one of the best pieces of headwear. This is also a carryover from uh from Demon Souls. Uh, there's actually a boss kind of themed around it. Where basically the boss is like this cloth that goes and wraps around a person's head and they fight you. But it's a PvP boss, and if people are like in the area and in like whatever covenant, they'll get summoned to fight you in that arena instead of like a NPC, <laughs> which makes the difficulty of the boss variable if you're playing online. <laughs> and there are people, especially non-canon games in the East Live. Oh yeah, with that. Uh, um, Xanthus uh, crown supposedly made an imitation of a divine creature of Ulysseal, land of ancient golden sorceries. It looks surprisingly like a mushroom. Xanthus clothing is the mark of a researcher of lost sorceries, and the oversized crown is emblematic of their work. Such a curious pursuit is surely nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, putting that back on. But yeah, so Rosaria's here, doing her thing, being a weird slug. Or, well, no, she's not a weird slug. She's got this weird slug like, around her. I can offer... Actually. Yeah, no. Because I think you need pale tongues to do the thing. But yeah, I could have sworn that there was, like, a summon here. East 2 Special. Strategy Nexus Online. East versus Kisaki. East Dragon of Voltago. 6 Online. Dreamweave Long Night. Great name. Super Smith. <laughs> yeah. So they had they had two East Online games. Seems a bit excessive. Um, okay, so I can do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's go to Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Place the basin. So this this cutscene is neat, but it makes you wonder <laughs> because you just kind of say, like, "Okay, the sword's going in." Um, why is there 
a liquid coming from this statue? Um. What? What's... Is there a juice box in there? Is, is that why it's all, like, really dark black goop? Is it there? Is there just, like, a... Sorry, rotten juice box inside that night head, or... Is that... A, just a dude who has been petrified there and suffers. But yeah. So, boom. And this is the path to the next one. I mean, you can get blood from an armored dragon point. You know, that's true. <laughs> but yeah. So this is essentially opening up the... This from a, being a dead end. Like you originally would think it would be. Um, yeah. So it's, it's pretty neat. Not gonna lie. Because, like, you come here, and you... Like, obviously you walk into that... Into... Into, um... That door originally. At the start of the game. Or, I said at the start of the game. Early in the game. And you just go, like, this is a boss room. Like, oh my god, look at this boss room. And you talk to the lady, and she's like, here's this item. Go to that other boss room at the bottom of the stairs. And then it's like, okay, okay, weird. Weird. Um, but this is still totally a boss room, right? And it's like, ah, and then you don't... Then you forget about it. And then you get teleported there. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, this is a boss room. The reaction nexus was a mobile MMO. East Online, the Call of Solemn was a Korean MMO. And Six Online was another mobile MMO. Okay, interesting. Speaking of mobile, they're coming out with uh, East 8 mobile. Because it seems like it seems like East 8 is like the one that really hit hard. And they want to really dive into. In terms of stuff. Soul of Weary Warrior. Actually, you know what? Maybe I... Maybe... Because I played them. So, my base regular play of the game, Caster, I never beat Dancer. I know I didn't. Um, but maybe the second time I played through on PC, uh, I didn't get very far, but I played a modded version of the game. Uh, I made a whole bunch of, like, balance changes, new items, cool stuff. Um, new modes, a whole bunch of things. And I feel like I remember actually fighting these guys. Um, yeah, need to stop going for all right. There we go. Okay. Titanite Shard. Yeah. And this brings you down to fun area. So this is actually going... Right now, I'm going on an optional path. And I know this is an optional path. Um, but I want to do it because I've talked about doing this one before. Um, okay. Um, so I'm going to send this back up. Probably shouldn't have sent it back up, but I want to come out here. Yeah, the consumed King's Garden. Yeah. So now you can see that the black thing has, like, spikes on it. That's pretty neat. And there's this big item over here. Esther Shard. Yep, definitely worth it to go back up and get that. Um, but yeah. So then you can come out over here and then drop down and get that item. But yeah, so... I believe this is also a toxic swamp. I can't quite remember. But what I'm going to do is this is where I'm going to call it a stream because I've been going for just over three hours and I'm getting a little bit tired. Died what three times today? Did did three lessons in Duolingo? I'd say that's pretty that's pretty good for the purpose of the stream. So got through Irithel Dungeon, got through Profane Capital. Beat two bosses, beat Yorm the Giant, beat Dancer of the Boreal Valley, completed Seagrid's quest line, got Titanite Slab, so when I get up through the Titanite chunks, I'll be able to fully upgrade my Celsar Twin Blades. Um, and now I'm entering what's generally unexplored territory for myself, so I'll be looking forward to future um, streams of this. Uh, and I hope everyone else will as well. Um, so. 
uh, not going to be streaming tomorrow, but on Monday, the 4th of July, I will be streaming some more East because I missed it on Friday, unfortunately. So uh, maybe I'll try and have a bit longer of a stream that day. Maybe I'll start a little bit earlier, um, but I'm not sure yet. But regardless, thank you, Fontana, for dropping by and chatting with me. And thank you, anyone else who dropped by and just uh, lurked. Much appreciated, and I had a great time. I hope you all will join me next time. I hope you all have a very nice night. Bye.